Hope you guys are doing good. Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 has started receiving Android 8.0 update. The new update brings Android 8.0 along with Samsung Experience 9.0 as well as a bunch of performance improvements and tweaks. The Android 8.0 Oreo update for the Galaxy A5 2017 is initially rolled out in Russia and Romania and after a month it started in India today morning so it will be rolled out in rest of the countries in the next couple weeks so keep checking if you have not received the OT update yet. The update size was approximately 1.2 gigabytes. To be precise, it was 1180 megabytes. The Galaxy A5 2017 Oreo is a major release and it could have a huge impact on your phone's performance. While most of you are fine installing the Galaxy A5 Android update when it arrives, others might benefit from waiting for a few hours, a few days or even longer before switching from Nougat to Oreo. This update has several issues including severe battery drain, issue with connectivity, lag and few performance issues when it first launched in Russia. I believe Samsung should have fixed all the issues by now but it is worth a wait if you are not too much excited to get a new software update on your phone. Samsung continues to release important security patches for Galaxy branded devices and this update should bring the latest patches from Samsung and Google to your phone. The Oreo update also comes with security improvements to Samsung Pay. If you use Samsung Pay, you should probably download and add a Oreo update soon after it arrives for your phone. On top of those features, uh, Oreo comes with enhancement to your device biometric features that use biometric like your fingerprint. This one does not have a face or iris scan, but those are only available when you use a secure screen lock type, pattern pin or password. Otherwise, this biometric authentication will be disabled by default. With that being said, there is no other visual improvements on this new update. Yes, sadly, no visual improvement. It is the same boring UI as Nougat. There isn't much visual changes to the notification center as well. So don't expect much out of this update other than some icon visual changes, some changes in settings menu. Other than that, there are tons of under the hood and uh, uh, security improvements. I was too excited to see the new UI, but I'm kinda disappointed. I have downloaded the update this afternoon and I did not notice any major issues or a battery drain other than the phone is a little bit slower than usual. So far, I believe it should be all good up and running smoothly as expected. But over the next week, I will give you guys updates on performance, battery, camera and what's new in audio. So please subscribe and click the bell symbol to get the notification as soon as I drop in the video. Thanks for watching and talk to you guys in the next one. Until then, you guys stay tight and enjoy your update. Have fun.